welcome back guys this is the third video of jira tutorial and in this tutorial i will talk about how you can create a issue and how the mail will automatically will get triggered to the particular recipient right so before jumping into that this is brief about me i come from mechanical background i am from bihar mujafferpur this is my facebook page and youtube channel and the github locations where you can get all my source code and for any query you can mail me to this mail id uh, if you do that in fact you can uh, ping me on my facebook page itself now last two video we have seen that how to create a project how to create a story how to create a sprint how a sprint will start how a sprint will complete how it will go into the backlog and how we can uh, complete the story how we can create the subtask everything we can do that now let's say you are doing a testing you got a issue so you want to create a bug so click on create here when you click on create here here select bug and select your project so team your project this is bug write a summary saying that credit card payment is not working this is a summary right then descriptions what is the descriptions you write here descriptions here we can write login to application select product add to basket go to payment page do credit card payment expected result actual result so expected result payment should be successful okay payment should be successful actual getting error on ui okay actual means you are getting error right uh, select this control b make it bold select this control b so you are getting error now what is the priority priority is high is high bug now what is the environment you can write the environment testing environment development environment pre prod any attachment a screenshot you can attach then whom to assign so whatever person you want to assign i want to assign to mohan so i'll write here mohan mohan name will come but i don't have configured only my name is configured so i'll write my name so when you write like this see when you write bhanu bhanu pratap singh will come so select this then which sprint okay which sprint do you want to create that so i want to create in the uh, i have only one sprint active sprint so as of now i will not select the sprint i will just create so when i create this bug what happens is you click on this bug or you do not do that okay then you have created a bug now where you can see your bug like how many bugs you have created you go to the issues click on issues here you have my open issue click on my open issue when you click on my open issue you can see that you have created one bug credit card payment is not working you have this bug so click on this bug when you click on this bug your bug will open okay it's already opened here so now what you can do is here you can add the watchers like how many persons you want to know about the issue so whenever you will add any watcher the mail will go to that person or whoever you will assign the mail will automatically will go to that person it's like okay this person has created this bug like credit card payment is not working in fact whatever watcher you will add so generally in the company what you have to do you have to assign to the development person who will work on that who will design a code and then you have to add the manager and lead so that manager and lead will come to know that okay this bug is coming into the applications so you assign to the development member and then add your lead and manager it's a standard practice because your manager should know 
so the moment you will add in the watcher list okay watcher list is nothing but a small uh, window in that window you can write your manager name comma lead name automatically will get added okay so when you add your manager lead manager and lead will receive the email okay and that's how the bug will look like so what happens when the development team will start working on into it he will make in progress first we will do in progress so this bug will be in progress state now it will not show in my open issue right it will not show in my open issue so if you go here issue again when you click on that and you go to my open issue so you will not see that so now if you look at here here you have types of bugs here you have a status a status so you click on in progress in, in my open issue here you have a project which project bug you want so i want bug for the team here select the project okay so click on this click on this project will get selected then a status so click on in progress okay so whatever bug you have in progress it should come right so the issue cannot be displayed right now click on reload again sometime this comes actually so it came right this is the issue now it is in in progress so development team why what he will do is they will make this as a fixed okay the, the development team uh, they will make this as a fixed so if you if you what here what you have is in progress and done generally they will they will have one more options called fixed so they will fix it actually if you click on view workflow in the workflow you have only three workflow okay so this can be customized so generally that guy will fix and he will write a comment saying that developer will write here code has been fixed and click on add so the moment he will write any comment mail will come to you also because you are the reporter reporter is you and assigned to development guy and there is a watcher so whoever will write any comment here mail will go vice versa okay that is done by the jira automatically that we don't have to do it is done by the ops team in the company or some person who takes care of the jira and all that okay we don't have to so the mail will go now let's say uh, this guy what he will do is he will click on done okay so let's say he made done when he made done the mail will come to you okay this bug has been fixed so now what he will do you will verify the bug again and then you will write working as expected okay working as expected hence closing the issue and click on add so you wrote the comment so that comment will go to the everybody okay and then so it will be fixed here now you have to click on close so bug will get closed so that's how we can create the story now there is one more thing here we have to understand so let's say again we will create a issue now before jumping into that let me do one thing first let me go to the project so the project is team your project so go to the project first and first create one sprint because our both the sprint is closed if you go to the active sprint there is no active sprint okay so we'll go to the backlog in the backlog we'll create a sprint so click on create a sprint and here a sprint 3 is there right so sprint 3 got created now now what we'll do we'll create one issue here we will write payment phase is not loading okay payment page is not loading and write the same descriptions whatever i have just now shown you same descriptions you write that then come here assign to the development guy and then select the sprint which sprint you got the issue so i got the issue in sprint 3 so select the sprint 3 here okay uh, you need to select the sprint 3 so sprint 3 and then click on create so when you select automatically sprint 3 you know what happens automatically this bug will come in the sprint 3 like you got the bug in the sprint 3 so you create in the sprint 3 so because you are doing testing in the sprint 3 so you got a bug so create it will come here 
So automatically whatever bug will create it will come in the sprint 3. So whenever the sprint 3 will start the bug will also get started. So you can click on create a start in this sprint this bug will get started right. So that's how actually Jira works and that's what we need to know apart from that we don't have to know much things. If you know only these three video you watch two three times okay you will be able to convince the interview or whatever I said if you repeat the same point and I have shown you like how we can make the sprint how we can do all that right. So if you go to the backlog you can see that what is the backlog you have right so everything I have shown you guys. Now I hope that in fact if you will go to this sprint report there is no report now because there is no sp completed sprint right. So everything now so, uh, shown you this is your backlog this is your current sprint from here say you can go to your project which project you want to from issue when you click on issue you click on my open issue and you can you have the filter options here. So here you have a project you can select the project you can select the type like whether you are looking for bug a story task in the status what you have you have in progress to do done what you are looking for right and then what user. So as of now there is only one user in the company there will be multiple user. So you can choose for the user for which user you want to see that so everything I told you same thing you have to tell in the interview right. So that's how Jira works and that's how mail will go. So whatever you will assign the mail will go to the persons whatever you will add the watcher mail will go to the persons. Now in fact let's say for attachment here you can do some attachment right. So you can browse and if let's say if you have the screenshot of the bug like you know that you have the screenshot of your bug you can attach the screenshot right. So let me do one thing let me add one screenshot here just to just to show you. So this is the screenshot. So what happens is this screenshot will get added. So if you look at here in your Jira now when you click on this bug right. So here there will be a attachment attachment of the bug. So that's how you attach also right. So you can attach any a screenshot to your bug. You can write the comments here in the down that's what I have shown you. You can write anything so whatever comments you feel like you can write that and you can click on add. So down where you have the add button you can click on add your comment will get added right. So that's how Jira works guys ok and I hope that now you guys able to answer all the questions in the interview. Thank you guys with this we are done with the Jira and hope this will help lot of people and please you tell to your friend also so that they will get benefited. Thank you guys thank you for watching this hope you like this video and subscribe my youtube channel.